Welcome to another video from GIC Learning Hub. We hope this will help you to understand our products in a better way. Presenting the complete range of digital voltage monitoring relays. These monitoring relays are packed with excellent features, making them most effective to ensure protection against all types of low voltage faults. This is how the product looks. These are the various prominent features. Let us see the front panel details. Four keys for programming the device. An escape key. A scroll up. A scroll down. And an enter key. Connection for supply voltage and relay. Let us see the programming for DMS120. Press and hold escape key for more than one second to enter in the programming mode. SPLCFG stands for Supply Configuration Menu. Press Enter to configure the system for either 3 phase 3 wire or 3 phase 4 wire by pressing Enter key. Use up or down key to change as per requirement. Press Enter to confirm. Press Escape key to go back. Press up key for REFVTG which stands for Reference Voltage Menu. Press Enter to go into the menu. Press Enter, and by using up or down key, make it enable or disable. Press Enter to confirm. If enabled, then user can set reference voltage by using up and down key, then press enter to change the value. To confirm this change press enter, press escape to go back. Press up key for RL1CFG which stands for Relay 1 configuration, press enter, here we can configure Relay 1 for protection against under voltage. Over voltage, under frequency, over frequency, asymmetry, phase loss, phase reverse, off delay, on delay, relay mode, and latch mode. UVTG stands for under voltage setting. Press enter to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable. To set the threshold for under voltage, press up key and set the required voltage by using enter key and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter, press escape to return. Press up key to configure OVTG which stands for over voltage setting. Press enter to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable, to set the threshold for over voltage. Press up key and set the required voltage by using enter key and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure UFREQ which stands for under frequency setting. Press enter to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable, to set the threshold for under frequency, press up key and set the required frequency by using enter key and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure OFREQ which stands for over frequency setting. Press enter to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable, to set the threshold for over frequency, Press up key and set the required frequency, by using enter key and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure ASY, which stands for asymmetry setting. Press enter to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable, to set the threshold for asymmetry voltage. Press up key and set the required voltage, by using enter key and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure PHLOSS which stands for phase fail setting. Press enter key to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable. User can disable by pressing enter, and using up key. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure PHREV which stands for phase reverse setting. Press enter key to see the status if enable or disable. Factory default is enable. User can disable by pressing enter, and using up key. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure OFFDLY which stands for off delay setting. Press enter key to set the threshold for off delay. First select the multiplier 0.1x, or multiplier 1x by pressing enter. User can set from 0.1 seconds to 999 seconds, by using up and down keys. 
To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure ONDLY which stands for on delay setting. Press enter key to set the threshold for on delay. First select the multiplier 0.1x or multiplier 1x by pressing enter. User can set from half a second to 999 seconds by using up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key to configure RLYMD which stands for Relay Mode Setting. Press Enter key to see the default setting is Yes, which means Fail Safe. User can change this to Non Fail Safe by pressing Enter and using up key. To confirm this change press Enter. Press Escape to return. Press up key to configure LCHMD which stands for Latch Mode Setting. Press Enter key to see the status, default is No. User can change this to Yes by pressing Enter and using up key. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press escape to return. For DMS 120 and DMA 220, Relay 2 configuration will come into picture. If user wants to have the same settings for Relay 2 as Relay 1, then user can copy them by using copy Relay 1 configuration menu. Press enter to go into the menu. Press enter to select. Press up key to select yes. Press enter to confirm. Press escape to return. Here Relay 1 configuration are copied to Relay 2. Press Escape to return. Press up key for SDYP which stands for Asymmetry Type Setting. Here we can configure Absolute Value of Desired Asymmetry Setting, or Percentage with respect to the reference voltage. To confirm this change press Enter. Press Escape to return. Press up key for HYST which stands for Hysteresis Setting. User can configure Hysteresis Threshold for Voltage, Asymmetry, Frequency. Press Enter to confirm respective settings and press Escape to return. Press up key for PONDLY which stands for Power on Delay Selection. Press Enter key to set the power delay. User can set time from 0 seconds to 999 seconds. Factory default is 5 seconds delay for the device to start monitoring after power on. Press Escape to return. Press up key for BAKLIT which stands for Backlit on Off option. User can configure it to be continuous on or off by using enter and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Press up key for RESET which stands for reset parameter option. Press enter key to change this setting. Factory default is NON which stands for none. Press enter and then press up key for FCT, that is factory reset, or press up key for HST, that is history log reset. Press enter to confirm. Press escape key for more than one second. Press down key for PSSWD which stands for password protection. Press enter key to see the status, factory default is disable, use enter and up and down keys to make it enable. Press enter to set desired pin for protection by using enter and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter, press escape twice to return. Press up key for NOPEN which stands for neutral open selection setting. Press enter to see the status, factory default is enable, here a user can enable or disable this protection by using enter and up and down keys. To confirm this change press enter. Press escape to return. Flashing green backlight for ease of fault diagnostic. This completes the programming. Thank you for watching this video, if you have any questions make sure to contact us, or drop an inquiry on our website. GIC India, we stay committed, to being excellent.